Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you a very easy and beautiful shaker multi-pocket envelope. We do have pocket from this side and we do have window from this side right behind the shaker card. It's very easy to do and you don't need so many supplies. What you need is envelope and some string, acetate back and something what you will add to that shaking, uh, shaking window. So I do have here these uh, <laughs> blinky stuff, uh, Valentine's confetti. Look at that, it, it does have name Valentine's confetti. I didn't even notice that. I do have here some embellishments like these beautiful clusters. My sons uh, made these, uh, designed these a year ago actually. I shared them with my Patreons and I forgot to create something using them. So today I'm going to be using these beautiful cl clusters my son made. And I do have some uh, labels which I put together with those clusters and they are now on my Etsy. Link will be down below if you are interested to buy. It's in one pack on my Etsy, these little labels and those clusters. So that's what I'm going to be uh, using for decorating my envelopes. And then what I need is DL envelope. DL, L, DL envelope, it's this one. It's that shallow, long envelope with the closure on the long side that's what i'm gonna be using and it's actually really easy to do and also i'm gonna be using for that shaker part i'm gonna be using one old uh, old bag this is package from uh, from the christmas there were those i think there were Oh, there were uh, Christmas bows in this one. Yeah, Christmas bows, which I used to decorate our bags or Christmas, you know, Christmas presents. So this bag I can use for that shaker, uh, for that shaker part. First, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold my envelope the way where uh, I'm gonna kind of make the pocket pocket will be this and here this one i'm gonna fold the way that it will be flap of my uh, envelope so this will be flap of my envelope i'm gonna grab my scissors and cut it straight away in some kind of angle here i'm gonna take this place it here on that opposite side and follow same shape with my scissors to have these sides uh, equally cut it i do have cut it my future flap of my envelope um, i'm gonna open this i do have the envelope where there is that foldable sticky part but if you don't uh, if you do have normal envelope where this is straight uh, you're just gonna grab your scissors and cut this entry to the pocket uh, in the part where those folds are. So here and actually here, just make the cut. So you can fold this one the way that uh, you can glue the this and this and this one you can glue it down. So then here will be entry to, uh, to that pocket. Here we will create the window. So here will be entry to that pocket. Now here I would like to have a window. You can uh, draw from piece of paper uh, shape of the heart what i did here i folded paper on half i draw a shape a half shape of the heart i cut it off and then i had this then i trace it to my envelope and i did created these two shaker cards 
as a Valentine's cards. Or you can take, um, maybe you do have uh, stickers, which could be placed as a window. So maybe, maybe this one. So grab your sticker, place it in this middle part of that envelope. So I did draw the size of my sticker. Now I can cut inside. I need to keep some part of that envelope so I can actually stick that sticker on, on that part. And now I'm gonna cut the window. Like this. And here, later here, I will add my sticker so i do have a hard entry and this rectangle entry i do have those two bags i can make my shaker box so i just add a little bit of these valentine's confetti to that bag and i'm gonna seal it in the size I need. I'm gonna use this double-sided tape and just tape it here So I do have prepared confetti for hat, confetti for this rectangle. Uh, first I'm gonna distress both of these envelopes. I do have done some easy distressing uh, to inside those uh, blue, blue pieces. I do have here uh, tea dyed paper. So I'm gonna get up my tea dyed paper and cut two pieces, one for each of my envelope. So one for here and one for here. Kind of fit into that space. Okay. So now I can flip it this way. I'm gonna apply the glue to that paper. Open my envelope. Place that paper with the glue on the top uh, between these two folds and kind of slide it to the end and just place it down so I do have cover the window in there I'm gonna do same here I do have my uh, tea dyed window done in both of my envelopes as you can see I do have the tea dyed paper longer uh, it's actually overlapping the flap a little bit here and here overlapping the edge here once this is folded so i do have that done uh, i'm gonna place inside my oops aha uh -huh. look at that i do have open open part okay good to know right now <laughs> okay i need to take care of that i do have open back on one side so that i'm gonna secure 
I'm gonna place my double-sided tape here and here and I do have that open side of back here on this side where my hand is I'm gonna lift this up place the shaker back over the window glue it down And now I can't forget that side which is open. So I'm gonna take just tape. The open side is here. So I'm just gonna tape it with my medical tape. It's very soft tape so it will be not uh, in the way. And I know it will hold my uh, those sequins inside. Now I can put the glue here to that flap and glue it down you can put the glue here glue it down I'm gonna lift up this part put the glue on the original flap of my envelope put the glue here on the edge of this and on the edge of this and fold this down but here i'm gonna put a little bit more in that middle section where the sequins are i'm gonna fold it over so with that we just created entry to this this pocket here here I'm gonna take my scissors and cut the edge of this side opposite side from the flap so here I do have flap so the opposite side I just cut it and I made that entry here I have added double-sided tape here and here about one quarter of inch from the edges and I'm just gonna fold it over like this this edge here on the top I'm gonna secure actually with some decorative label now I'm gonna take some of these and I can place here this one And just secure this edge with my beautiful label I do have pocket here so before I will add uh, this sticker here on my window I'm gonna do some little stamping I do have here Tim Holtz stamps spellbinder stamps blunders essentials so I'm gonna do some little stamping nothing too complicated just very easy way I'm gonna be using Adirondack espresso color and then uh, office normal office red color ink and just do a little stamping
some decorative elements. Which one? Okay, this one. And some of these labels. I do have glued this little label. Here I do have foam double-sided tape to place it a little bit and, uh, you know, like pop up. I'm going to place it here. I may will add something here on the top later, but for now, um, I'm done with the decorating for now. I'm going to grab ruler and pencil. Here I'm going to mark a middle. So now where... Uh, where I made my mark, I'm gonna attach the string using eyelet. I'm gonna poke the hole, slider string, add the eyelet and fix it. Now I'm gonna wrap it once and twice and i'm gonna cut it here and from these labels i'm gonna create some decorative hanging tag so i can take maybe this one glue it on some uh, cardstock i do have here left over from some old envelope that's what i'm gonna use as reinforcer Like this, so now I can close with this little tack. Can be like my closing tack. I do have my envelope, and I do have two pockets. One here, and I can slide there some tack, and one here in the back where I can place some another card or you know gift card anything i want so i'm gonna cut this one so this can be here this can be there and i can close my little envelope and i do have my shaker yeah, it's that my shaker envelope with two pockets done. Same way I have created this uh, Valentine's type uh, envelope. I just uh, glued decorative papers uh, on that envelope first before I cut the windows and before I folded it. So I used decorative papers to glue it to decorate the envelope first. And then I continued with same same steps like I showed you here. And I do have here one more. This hard one. So I'm going to finish it and show you once it's done. And here I do have the last one I made uh, with the heart. I have to say that this is kind of <laughs> addictive. <laughs> it's very easy to do and I think it can be a perfect addition to junk journals. It can be a beautiful gift if you will use some decorative papers on the top and decorate it with decorative papers. So I do believe this easy folding and easy gluing can be a uh, lot of fun and you can create awesome projects with this. And that shaker card or shaker window it's beautiful addition to this uh, little envelope craft. So that's all my sharing for today. I hope I gave you some inspiration, maybe for some Valentine project or for your junk, junk journal project. Uh, thank you so much for visiting me today and spending your time with me. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.